What's packing, everybody? Man, it's your boy Godchild, first of his name. This is the What's Packing Sports Show. We are presented by Manscaped and the Say It Again Network. I want to thank you to all the viewers who are tuned in right now. We about to get into a live unboxing on the stream. That's right, your boy Godchild went ahead and spent a little bit of that. Stimmy money is right here. It's right here, man. Who's ready for this unboxing, man? Um, So, very first item on the list, man. Very first item on the list. We're going to say the best for last. But the first item on the list, as you guys know, I like to wear hats. Okay? I got my cheese head. Okay? I got, I got my football head. Okay? I even... I even have like a, a little bucket hat I like to wear that says Packers on it. And I don't know what that bucket hat is right now, but I love to wear hats. So, of course, you know, I had to get some new hats, man. Uh, shout out to uh, the Packers Pro Shop, okay? And this joint, look at this, man. Look at this. This joint fresh right here. Got the Packers in the bold. Packers in bold. Right there, man. I like this hat because it's solid. It's one color. And uh, I thought it was black online, but this joint look a little... It looks like it's green. It looks like a solid green color, which is which is pretty dope. It's uh, It's got the reversible. Oh, it's got the adjustable little clasp right here. So, you know, if you got a big-ass head like myself, let's try it on see how it fits. I mean, that's perfect. Look. I mean, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. You know I'm loving that, but not just one hat. Not just one. I got two new hats. Because I got, if, if anybody knows the channel, if you look down at the bottom at the uh, channel points, you got the packing points, okay? If you spend uh, 300 packing points, you can get, you can uh, trigger hats off to you. And if you do hats off to you, then uh, basically... I'll change my hat to whatever you want me to change it to, man. So this is the first hat I got. Let me show y'all the second hat, man. I think I love hats, so I think this is pretty cool. Uh, the second hat, drum roll, please. The very next hat that I have in the West Packers Sports Show unboxing is this hat. Now, <laughs> look at this, man. This is dope, right? I think this is pretty dope, right? Um, look at this hat, man. This hat's pretty cool. It's got the G logo all over it. And and all this stuff was on sale, man. All this stuff was like 50% off. So I went and copped this. This is called the confetti hat. I don't know how many more are left in store, but I thought it was pretty cool. And the thing about this hat is actually it's a woman's hat. <laughs> it's a lady's hat. But I don't care because I thought it was fly, man. I thought that shit was fresh. So let's now let me let me go ahead and do this. Cause I got because I ordered so much stuff, I actually got like a free scarf or some shit like i didn't even want this damn scarf but they, i guess they have so many they're just giving them away and so uh here here's the scarf that i got it's a crinkle scarf i mean you know this shit looks pretty cheap honestly i mean look look at this it looks honestly it looks pretty cheap like the uh like you can see how this thing was kind of put on it almost looks like i can peel it off no wonder they're giving these things out for free but i mean hey it's it's like more packer shit like you can't never have enough packer stuff so, you know what I'm saying? There we go. There you have it, man. Let's see. And let me go ahead and put it on like a babushka. Or maybe I should go ahead on it. You know what I'm saying? Tie it up like this. Go ahead, tie it up like this. You know what I mean? Got the long, I got them, <laughs> I got them, them bundles. <laughs> Here, like I said, put it on a, as a headband. You know what I mean? I can get, I can get creative. No need to like, no need to limit myself to just look bam bada bing look i got the pigtails and look at that uh you can see the logo that's all i really i just want y'all to know it's green bay head to toe baby so as long as you can see the logo i'm good this is a lambo filled face cover 100 percent polyester fabric made in america made in america and look man look i got my little lambo lambo filled polyester face mask cover uh, I mean, bada bang. You can't really go wrong with that. That looks pretty dope. I look like I might be a motherfucking assassin on this bitch. 
drum roll, man. Drum roll. Here we go. We working our way up to the uh, to the big ticket items here. Now we here. Here we go. Now, now we now we moving on to the big ticket items. This is the West Packing Sports Show unboxing, first ever unboxing on the channel. The Packers Pro Shop is having a clearance sale, and I had a little gift card that I got for for um, for Christmas, and I needed some new gear. Like I was like, I feel like I needed new shirts, I needed some new hats, I just needed some more Packers gear. Cause you can never have enough Packers gear, especially when you got a Green Bay Packers Sports Show. So. I went and treated myself with some of that stimmy money. Hey, and look, next item on the list, bada bang. Look at this, man. Green Bay Packers, Mitchell and Ness, like, kind of like throwback. It's kind of giving me some throwback vibes, right? Uh, look at that, man. That's an official Mitchell and Ness. The stitching on this is beautiful. This is a beautiful garment right here, man. Old school. I had to get the extra large, even though I'm, I'm trying to lose some weight. This thing is beautiful. It's got the like the jersey mesh kind of uh, quality to it. It's got a little bit of stretch, man. It feels like a like an old school kind of practice jersey, and I like it because it kind of has that old school that old school feel, right? Kind of has that old school feel. I mean, the 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 the, the, the text and stuff is kind of like that that stick on or like screen on text the heat the heat transfer text which which means you got to be careful when you washing this thing you don't want to uh put it in the dryer for too long or or not like that cuz this cuz the cuz the text the um the words can't the words can't come off it but you got the little stitching right here i mean this is dope this is dope this next one i'm really excited about man we we working our way up to the big reveal Man, item number six, bro. I voted for Adams. Okay, we're going to see if you're right. But the very next item that I purchased in my unboxing is this, man. And I'm really excited about this. If you guys know, you know that I like the old school. On, on this channel, we like to use the old school colors. That's why I got the blue and the yellow, the blue and gold uh, on the banner for my overlay. And uh, I, so I had to go out and purchase this Don Hudson jersey and don hudson let me tell you a little bit something man don hudson is underrated this dude is an absolute monster bro don hudson is a monster dog like he was putting up Devonte adams like numbers back in the in the fucking 40s and 50s okay i mean actually yeah like the 40s man now my man my man uh through you he said he thought it was a Devontae Adams jersey. And I was close to getting a Devontae Adams jersey. But since I already have a jersey for Eddie Lacy, he's on offense. And I had an Aaron Rodgers jersey, even though I promised I would never wear that Aaron Rodgers jersey ever again because I'm done with Aaron Rodgers. I had to go out and get defense, man. Defense wins championships. And me personally, I'm a defensive kind of guy. Like, I love watching strong defense. I love watching defensive play. Um, I love when the defense makes a play, makes a stop, gets an interception, gets a touchdown, gets a sack. Like, I'm really a defensive guy. So, of course, I had to go with the one, the only, Jair, Ja Money, a.k.a. the Bank of Ja Alexander. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Look at that, man. Had to get the brand new Jair Alexander 23 jersey, man. I am so pumped and excited for this. Alexander on the back. 23 on the front. This joint clean, man. This joint clean. Went with the XL. Got the 23. I went with the XL. I probably honestly should have went with the large. Because this XL might be a little too big. This XL might be a little too big. Y'all might have to take this joint back and get the large, honestly. I thought I went with the large. Oh, okay. Nah, this joint, job. This joint kind of... Right now, uh, I thought it was maybe a little too big, but it seems like it's a perfect fit because I feel like the last jersey I bought was the... Was the um, I thought it was the Nike jersey too. 
But I don't know. Maybe they just, I think Nike been switching it up, man. Trailer Court 69, what's packing, man? What's packing, my brother? Look, man, I just finished doing the unboxing. You missed it. But because I like you, I'm going to go ahead and show you the whole rundown one more time. I got a mask. I got like a Lambo field mask right there for the COVID, for the po COVID protocols. I will be hopefully going to Lambo this year. So, look, I'm going to have my official Lambo mask i got this green bay packers logo confetti hat this is actually a women's hat but it still fits my big ass head i thought that shit was dope i needed more hats this is a regular packers font like hat it looks like it's black but it's actually like deep deep green then i got this mission and Ness packers jersey shirt that's pretty cool it's kind of got like an old school feel so i had to go ahead and cop that the Packers Pro Shop, man, they got a whole bunch of shit on sale. So if you're trying to get some new Packers gear for the season, man, this is the time to do it. Then I got the Don Hudson jersey, the throwback kind of jersey shirt. It's not an actual jersey. It's more like a jersey shirt or something. But, hey, it's basically a jersey. So I went and got that. And I got this scarf for free. I didn't even buy this scarf. It just kind of came for free. And then the last but not least, I got the Jair Alexander John Money Home Green jersey. Oh man, I I feel your pain on that, bro. I feel your pain. You just copped the brand new Rogers jersey. I actually bought a Rogers jersey last year. I bought a Rogers jersey last year. I call myself trying to go all in and really just believe in Aaron Rodgers, and the motherfucker let me down because he failed. He failed yet again in the nfc championship game and not only did he fail but now all of, and that was bad enough like the him failing for the for, for the fourth time in uh basically four five appearances in the nfc championship game that was enough for me to be done with him but i feel like eventually i could have came back around but after this newest uh, uh this newest information is is out and now that rogers is trying to force his way out of green bay it's like it's like i'm actually literally done with this dude like i would never wear that jersey again i have no love for aaron Rodgers. you can kind of call me it, it honestly i go as far to say i am officially an aaron Rodgers hater now i'm an officially an aaron Rodgers hater uh because um, this dude doesn't want to play in Green Bay. He's shown his true colors. He turned down the money extension. He wants Brian Gutekunst to get fired. Like, who the fuck does he think he is, bro? Like, I have no love for this dude no more. It's fuck 12, faux life. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Unfortunately, we can't, like, trade in these jerseys for current players. If I could, I would. Yeah, I bought mine a week before the ch champ game. Shake my fucking head. Yeah, I ain't typing about that. There's too much to delay that for combo. My man Trailer Court said he's not typing about that. There's too much of a delay for that combo. Yeah, man, I wonder why I have such a delay on my stream. I'm not really sure how to fix that. People tell me all the time I have a delay on my stream. I'm not really sure how or why to fix that. I might try to figure that out. But uh that's that's dope man i thought about getting the adams jersey but like i said the next player that i probably might get um i might get like somebody on i do like offense but i'm a defensive guy so i'm, I'm i think i'm about to start collecting my defensive jerseys i got a jair alexander jersey i might have to get me a rashawn gary jersey or i might have to get me like a z smith jersey or kenny clark or maybe maybe one of the maybe one of the the the, the young dudes like a, a, a savage or maybe the stokes kid might be might be nice man we get 21 to 23 i feel bad for uh darnell don't call him average savage because i know he wanted 21 and i know we all wanted him to have 21 so he can be 21 savage but looks like the new kid is going to get uh the 21 jersey i thought about starting a gofundme i thought about starting a gofundme so that the fans could pay uh, for the rest of the stock of the uh, 2026 20, Savage jersey so he could buy that out and, 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 and do the 21. But, man, I said fuck it. And now Eric Stokes got it, so I'm not even going to trip about it. Poodle, you the GOAT, boy.